guys how's everyone doing today i hope the weather wherever you are at is better than it is here because we have had some storms and such for the past like three days and it's getting really annoying um i wanted to make a video about depression i think i made one before but i really didn't get into too much detail and i wanted to make this video because i've been struggling with it in a completely different way than i was before and i really had a break down, take a look at myself, a deep look at myself, and fix this problem that I'm having. And like I said in my last video, I'm going all natural with everything, so it's harder. It's a lot harder. There isn't a pill to make you feel better, okay? There's just not a pill. And before I start with my list, I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. I want to let everyone know that if you if you're the type of person that does not struggle with depression and you know someone that does struggle with depression and they kind of keep to themselves or they they act a little bit strange they don't want to hear your advice they don't want to listen to you the reason is because this is a very personal thing chances are um, they really care about you and they don't want their problems to become your problems because I know when I'm dealing with stuff I tend to just run away from everybody and not talk to everybody for a while and that's not to be mean, that's just a personal preference. I need to fix myself, and when I'm done fixing myself, you'll hear back from me. So the people who are closest to me, who know me, and don't mind that I do that, I appreciate you guys being there for me. But the people who do know me, and that is a problem to them, I am sorry, but you need to get the fuck over it. Like, I'm <laughs> if something works for me, then I'm gonna have to do it. All right, so without further ado, here is my list. I'm going to make this as quick as possible so this video doesn't go on forever. All right. In the morning, before I do anything, I wake up, I say my prayers, I put on my sweatpants, put on some earbuds, and I go for a walk around the neighborhood. I do not run. I don't like to run. Never understood those track people at school. I was like, who the hell wants to run for no reason? But if anything goes down on this earth where you need to like run for a long time or if there's a zombie apocalypse, I'll probably be wishing that I ran a lot more because they're, they're going to survive and I will be like dead before everyone else because I don't like to run. But walking has been helping a lot. Another thing I've been doing is just getting out in the sun. Um, been laying out by the pool. Um, if you don't have a pool, find a close neighborhood pool. Nobody really questions you as long as you're not, cause I don't have a pool, but as long as you're not causing any problems, just go lay out by a pool or just go for a walk. Do something that is outdoors and that'll make you feel a lot better. Plus that gets a lot of vitamins in your body. Another thing I've been doing is exercise and yoga. I do my exercises in the morning. Do not do exercises before you go to bed because your heart rate will get going and you will have a hard time going to sleep. I learned this the hard way. Um, what I do do before night, what I do do, <laughs> that was hilarious guys, sorry. All right, um, what I have been doing before night is doing some really easy yoga poses. What that does is like kind of calms down your heart rate when you're breathing correctly and it gets you ready for bed. So that's what I've also been doing. Also, if you just a, a little tidbit, a little side fact for the day, if you guys have problems sleeping, believe me, believe it or not, sleep naked. Okay. Or if you don't like to sleep naked, what you need to do is crank down the AC wherever you live or wherever you're at because when your body temperature drops your body actually thinks that it is sleeping so this will help you go to sleep um the two biggest things on my list one is music music has been changing my life i've been listening to music i've been dancing to music dancing is helping a lot and making me a lot better dancer I can even do Bud's little move when he listens to the song. Okay, anyways, yeah, I'll, I'll have to catch him doing it one day. But um, lots, lots, and lots of music has been changing my mood around drastically. But the most important thing on my list is prayer. I'm the type of person that I feel really guilty when I pray for myself, but I've been changing that around, and God's been answering my prayers. What I've been doing is when I find myself getting stuck in a negative thought, a negative emotion, just feeling down, feeling funky. What I've been doing is just wherever I'm at, I just say a prayer and I say, you know, God, please take this away from me. 
And he does every time. And for another side note, if you're praying for something in your life and you're not getting it, uh, the reason is, well, I think personally the reason is you're not supposed to have it in your life or you're not ready for it. And sometimes prayers seem to take forever to get to get answered, and that's because he knows you better than you know yourself. So he is doing this to help you. And you might not realize it, and you might get impatient, but you just have to keep being patient because everything in life is worth waiting for. Um, a lot of water, a lot of fruit, and two things that I put on here that you guys might be like, what? That's weird. Um, one is good posture. Every time I catch myself slouching, I just fix my posture and that's been helping a lot and then the last thing I put on my list is um, I over exaggerate everything not like in real life but I mean when for example if I drop something and I have to go pick it up as opposed to bending my knees and going to pick it up what I've been doing is keeping my legs straight forcing myself to stretch to pick it up like every action that you're doing you need to just over accentuate that action to stretch out your body and the whole while while you're doing all this stuff you're actually getting in shape and it's gonna make you feel better and give you way more energy oh and one more thing before I go look good feel good that is scientifically proven that if you look good or I mean not that probably sounds so terrible but what I mean by that is get up, get ready in the morning. The other day I threw on some lipstick and just leaving the house and feeling like I was looking good made me feel a lot better. So you guys need to try that too. And I like never wear lipstick. So it was, uh, it was, it was different, but it, I was like, Oh, I look really good today. And I felt really good the other day. So that's my list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If y'all have anything to add on to my list, I'd love to hear some feedback because I'm trying this all natural thing right now and any other things I can do in my life would be greatly appreciated. Um, Y'all have a very blessed day. I'm going to get out of here, get going for the day. And yeah, that's all, that's all I got. But I hope this helps. Depression is a very real thing. Um, a lot of people kind of think it's made up and like, uh, you know, like get up and get going. Like, it's a lot harder than it looks when somebody's struggling through depression. So if you know someone that is, don't be too hard on them. They're going through some things. And all you can do is be supportive and kind. And generosity goes a very long way. But y'all have a very blessed day again. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, beautifuls.